Greetings all, Shane Bruce with Restomont Daisy, and oh, it's a happy day here at the Restomont Development Facility because we finally have got a customer gun finished and ready to head it back to the wilds of Iowa. What you're looking at is a Daisy Model 1938. It's a high pivot gun, but it does have the uh, metal trigger and was equipped with a cast aluminum lever when I got my hands on it. The reason there are two guns on the counter right now is I, I wanted to show you the the difference that uh, Restomod can make. The gun below it is also a 1938, and although this gun was not as rough as this gun, nah, they're roughly equivalent in terms of what they look like when I got my hands on them. Uh, what we've done with this gun, per customer request, is a, a, a really exaggerated Slim Jim stock. You'll notice it's got a very long wrist, nice dish at the uh, nose of the uh, butt plate, but it's a thin stock, and Slim Jims are single plank stocks. They're not the uh, glue ups that I normally do. And this was a, a stylistic change that we were investigating to see if customers liked it or not. The customer that ordered this gun definitely wanted a Slim Jim, so we put the, uh, the Kentucky rifle-esque Slim Jim design on it. You'll notice the drop on the cone is extreme, but it does shoulder well, and it uh, provides for a more heads up orientation when you actually got the gun mounted. The Slim Jims also uh, feature a very, very small uh, Model 39-ish in, And they're supposed to be as skinny as we can get the gun. Uh, and as you can see, that's pretty damn skinny. Uh, what we've done on the metal work, uh, when the gun showed up, it looked remarkably like this. You'll see the blistered paint, the rust, the dings, the pings, <coughs> all those things. So we did surface work on the metal to prepare it for a fire blue process. And on this gun, the fire blue worked out really nice. You can see some of the subtle shading variations, uh, the deep blues, the slight purples, light straws on both sides of the weapon. And the steel in these guns from the era, which would be, oh, the early 70s, uh, reacts nicely to the fire blue process. Uh, part of the... Uh, Modifications we've done to the gun is we've uh, substituted a more powerful mainspring for a little more velocity. No, excuse me, we've retained the original mainspring because this gun was a pretty hot shooting gun when I got it. But we have uh, subbed in the 764 air tube and it also is equipped with the Model 25 50 round spring loaded magazine. Overall, the gun is hitting hard, shooting well, and like all resto mods, looking good. Well, kids, that's all we've got for you on this gun today, but it's going home to its owner. Hallelujah. This is Shane Bruce, Rest of My Daisy, signing off.